Welcome to another episode of Booze News. I'm Dylan Garcia here at the Pizzeria. This week for Valentine's Day, I have Susie Long, the certified SOM at Petite and Keat, and we're going to be talking a little bit about wine. Yeah, so today you brought me the Taken line. That's from Carlo Trincaro, who's 29 years old, and he grew up in the California winemaking industry and wanted to bring us something silly and fun as we all struggle through that millennial dating thing. You can relate to your Tinder life on social media with the Taken line. Starting with the Sonoma Coast Pinot Noir, this is really kind of lush and velvety for a Pinot Noir. Uh, it is aged in new French oak. I get a lot of violets on there. I think that, you know, speaking of Valentine's Day, maybe if it's complicated, bring this with some flowers. So we're moving on to the available red blend that's sourced out of Puglia, Italy. It's actually half Sangiovese, and it's kind of a non-committal wine. Like, this girl could go on three dates in the evening and sleep fine that night. The Taken red blend is a Cab Merlot out of Napa Valley, and it's got that rich, lush, warm feeling of when you're three months into something and you're still really, really into it, and it's like warm fuzzies all over, and they're Taken, they're mine. So it's kind of like the honeymoon phase. Yeah, that sexy honeymoon time. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Booze News. Thank you, Susie, for coming along and teaching us a little bit about wine. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you for introducing me to these wines that can cover any of my possible dating scenarios this Valentine's Day.